In this video, I'm going to show you how to copy a Blu-ray using Make MKV and Handbrake. These videos will also play on your computer, TV, Android, and Apple devices. Open Make MKV and select your source to your Blu-ray drive. Insert your Blu-ray and wait for the disc to open. Once open, click the big image in the center of the screen, or go up to File, Open Disc, and select your Blu-ray drive. This step will take two to three minutes to open and then show you the contents of your disc. We want to look for the largest file. This is usually the main movie on the Blu-ray disc. Once we found the largest one, click on it and look to the right. From here, we can verify our information by looking at the duration. If this time is the length of your movie, you found the right one. Now we want to unselect all the other titles so that we only have the main movie. Right click, unselect everything, Refind your main movie, and then select that one. Once the check mark is in place, we can select our save location. Now we can click the Make MKV button. If that save location doesn't exist, it'll ask you to create it. This next step will take about an hour because you are copying 20 to 40 gigs to your computer hard drive. Once complete, you can click OK and then close out of the program. Next, we'll use Handbrake to shrink a 40 gig Blu-ray to a 2 gig computer file. In Handbrake, at the top, select Source, Folder, and then navigate to the save location from the Make MKV program. Handbrake will now scan and open the computer file. Near the top, select the title and make sure it is the length of your movie. Then check the save location of your video file. On the right, we'll choose the normal preset. On the picture tab, change the width to 1920 for 1080p resolution or 1280 for 720p resolution. I prefer a 1280 720p resolution since some devices have problems playing a 1080p 4 gigabyte file. The only other setting I would change is under the Video tab, under Constant Quality. I prefer using a number 20. This gives me a file that is 1 to 2 gigabytes in size. If your file becomes too large, you can change this number to a larger number, like 21, 22, 23. At the same time, a lower number will give you slightly better video quality. The Audio tab has options, but I leave everything alone. All we really have to do is go back to our Picture tab, change our width, and click Start. Encoding takes several hours, in my case four, so I usually encode overnight while I'm asleep. Once complete, you have a file that will play on your computer, Android, and Apple device. You can also copy this file onto a thumb drive and insert it into your TV's USB port. Thanks for watching and leave any questions or comments you have below.